Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you the easiest way to embed Google Map in your WordPress website. And surprisingly, you can do it without help of any plugin. And it is most probably the easiest way to do this job. So watch the video till the end and get your job done. Here you can see my website and I would like to embed map in the contact page okay so let's see here is contact page i'm going to open it in a new tab and i would like to embed the map here and we can easily embed google map anywhere of our wordpress website now open up your browser and go to google maps official website i'm going to type maps.google.com just hit enter and here is the interface of Google Maps. And you can see first of all a search box and here you will search your address. And two types of address, home location, work location, and just everything is here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to search for an address that is in Jira Road, Farm Gate, here is the suggestion. I'm going to click on that suggestion. And now here goes it. You can see this location. Okay. And I have got the location on the map and I would like to show it. So now what we can do, we can see the direction, save it and find something nearby. And on the right, here you can see share button. To embed this map on our website, we need to click on it. Just click on share. And here you can see new interface. We can send the link of this location or we can embed on our website. As we would like to embed it, just click on embed a map. Now here you can see the preview of map. And from here you can just select any size small medium large or custom size you can choose custom size or whatever you choose just select medium okay and click copy html okay just it will provide html iframe code and click here to copy html code and it has been copied now it's our time to paste this code on our wordpress web page Okay friends, so go to the dashboard of your WordPress website. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and select the page or post where you would like to display the map. I'm going to display it on a page, just I'm going to navigate to pages and click on all pages. Here goes all the available pages. I'm going to open this page, Elementor. But friends, now I have two options. I can use the default Gutenberg editor or I can use Elementor, but I will show you the either ways. Here I'm going to search for Gutenberg editor. And Elementor. You have a lot of options. You can use Breezy, DB, or Oxygen Builder. And the process will be almost the same for any kind of page builder. Okay? So, we shouldn't waste any time. And firstly, I'm going to show you how you can embed using Elementor Page Builder. Then I'll show you how you can easily do it using Gutenberg. And the process will be same for other page builders, as I said already. Okay, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. If you don't see this option, edit with Elementor, just don't worry. I'm going to show the next step. Just this time, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Well friends, here you can see we have Elementor Page Builder editing interface. And the first job is to select the area where we would like to display or embed the map. and I would like to embed here. Okay, so 
on the right here you can see a plus sign just click on it and now search for a widget that is HTML this is it just drag it and drop here and now we can paste HTML code that we got from Google map okay so just paste the code and instantly you see the map and now you have a question how we can adjust the height and width okay so if you would like to adjust the height just drag it and just get some space and you will see this part width and height and here you can see a value just 450 I'm going to change it to just 650 now here you can see I could increase the height at the same time you can increase the width here is the value for width just uh, instead of 600 you can make or you can set any value that suits your need okay but I personally prefer to make it 100% 100 then type the percent sign okay 100% then that will fit the window and at the same time for height I would like to personally set 100% okay now here you can see it is 100% but doesn't look cool in that case I'm going to go to advanced tab and add some padding and margin but that might not be a great solution in that case you can just add the height here manually just uh, 650 that was good for me okay that's great and hit update I'm going to click here on the preview now you can see the preview okay again go back here and here you can see the responsive mode just click on it and on the mobile phone it also looks great okay that's fine now uh, the question is if you would like to display the map in a new section okay what you can do then you can create a new section here if you would like to display the ad here in a new section just click over here on the plus sign and create a section and create a one column section and here it is then click on the plus sign and search for the widget again HTML and drag it and drop here and again go to the Google Maps website and copy the HTML code and paste the code here now you can see the Google map in a new window or new section this time I'm going to click update and I'm going to show you the preview how it looks here it is but you can uh, preview it 100% full width just uh, again go over here and search for width here it is and change the value to 100% okay width is 100% you can also adjust the height and hit update now once again check the preview okay with 100 percent okay something is wrong what i'll have to do is just go to the section and click here edit section now the content width of this section is boxed that means it's not full width so i'll have to change it to full width column gap no gap and hit update this time it will show full width okay the problem was here you will have to just uh, change the layout style of the section where you would like to embed uh, HTML code of Google map that's fine so we could just uh, show or display the Google map in two different ways in a section or in a new section where you can 
get the benefit of full width screen. Now, I think I could show you how you can embed using Elementor. And this time, I'm going to show how you can embed it with Gutenberg Editor. So let's get back to the pages. I'm going to create a new page. Just click on here, add new. I'm going to close it and name the page, our location. Okay. And hit publish, hit publish and get back to the page setting again. Okay. So here you can see a big plus sign. Just click on it and search for HTML, custom HTML. Just click on it and drag and drop works for Elementor, not for this one. And copy the HTML code and paste here. Okay, that's cool. Now hit update. And I would like to preview this page. On the bottom, you will see view page and open it in a new tab. Here you can see our location. Okay, that's great. And if you would like to make it full width, you will have to work more. Just come over here on the page setting. Here you can see page attribute and change that template to Elementor full width or a canvas. Okay. Okay. If you don't have Elementor, you won't get this one. I'm using extra theme and you must get the content layout according to your theme. Just uh, you will have to search for it. Here we can see sidebar, no sidebar, content layout, layout full width stressed. I'll have to change the width of this map to 100%. Now again, refresh this space. Okay, it looks good but not the good we want paste template default template just hit update again okay friends uh, according to your theme you will see customize option just go over there and you will find the page setting okay i'm going to go to sidebar no sidebar paste template no sidebar okay again go to global container here is the problem layout is boxed layout should be full with okay i got the solution uh -huh. just hit publish here is a silence yeah, if you don't use any extra theme, you might face problem, but uh, you will have to take time to find out how you can make the page full width in your theme. Okay, but if you use Elementor Page Builder, then there is no issue. Okay, but if you use Elementor theme on your website, but the way I showed you would work for you, just you will have to go to customize and you will have to go to global and you will have to go to container from here you will just have to change the layout that's fine okay so friends uh, let's see our map once again here it is we did it with elementor and this space you can display it click on preview open in a new tab using Gutenberg. If this video helped you, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see WordPress or web technology related videos. So catch you next time. Goodbye.